just turn the radio off right so snap on diagnostics equipment and doing a regen on the Fiat Ducato um, successful Sometimes it doesn't work because the DPF is so clogged up it just won't have it and this is um, something like 69% is what it's telling me that the uh, DPF is clogged. Came in with a, uh, an M MLI warning lamp on, derated and I'm stuck now, I've, I've just turned down somewhere I shouldn't have done put the hazards on yeah I'm immune I'm immune I'm immune damn this van's actually quite big for a light vehicle right so doing a road test on this I've just regened it and uh, checked the data in this vehicle I did it two ways first one I did with generic going through and looking at the Fiat side of it, at the manufacturer side of it, and it came out with a weird code plus DPF pressure. Yeah, okay. And I thought because it is uh, on the power train side of it, you can go through into OBD2. Yeah, and that's exactly what I did because it seems to work out better sometimes because it comes up with specific codes. So I got the extra code, which was an intermittent temperature sensor. So I checked that, I watched it because after it had been regened, I, I left it running and uh, messed about with the temperature. So you can see here it goes up and then it goes back down again. Now that seems to be okay. Maybe there's a little bit of a loose wiring or something's happened with it. I don't know. DPF definitely needed a regen. I've done that and it's a su successful fix at the moment but because the data is telling me that the DPF is at 60, 60 something, 69 percent it won't be long before it will need to be replaced now when they say soot in a DPF well what happens is you uh, when you regen it you burn off the soot but it turns into ash this is where the clogging comes into it. So you're, um, what you're looking at is the ash content that is in the DPF that they can't get rid of. So there's, you get to a point where it, the clogging is too much and the pressure between the two sensors is too much. Therefore, you need it changed or cleaning out. I don't know if you can clean DPFs or not. We just change them, yeah? But I've been on a road test now. I've, I've caned the ass off this van for a little while. I've, doing stop start in town because that's what you do with the road test don't you you do a stop start in town you do it like a, a thrash the nuts off it sort of thing the lights stayed off which is good this is our Daffe breakdown van Fiat Ducato so yeah got a fix here which is good I'm gonna get a little gold medal for five minutes because you know what will happen next week it'll come back in again with the light back on and that will be when it needs a DPF this van does a lot of miles but it also does its own regens when it requires it but sometimes you have to do a forced regen and that's where you need to put a piece of equipment on that is capable of getting into the ECU and initiating it so that snap on ethos works fine and I've had no troubles with it with any of the equipment that I've plugged into and uh, done a regen it's always though when you're doing uh, diagnostics work you really do have to use your you have to blag it basically and just use your intuition and think well okay dpf problems let's have a look at the live data see what the live data is telling you and then go from there because each menu each vehicle is different every single one of those is different so i can look at a ford transit or a land rover and they'll be different even though they might have the same engines this one 
um, they're specifically named engine this is a 2.3 litre one um, yeah the menu's different again and that's down to what the manufacturer is doing um, and putting in it and what they want you to see now snap-on is a compromise it's a compromise because it's it's not the full blown equipment but it helps so if you can get a fix out of it all the better this is the one thing with diesels yeah and DPFs and the mission control and all of that is getting stricter and stricter and stricter this is an old van now they've now put add blue on this so I'm just going to nip into my mates at the ambulance brigade and they've all got Fiat Ducatos I don't know if I've got time have I got time? Yeah, I've got time. I've got like fucking 10 minutes. So this is what I'm going to do. Pop into my mate, say hello, have a fly visit, road test, and then fucking go. Yeah, I bet they're, I bet they're not very busy, but I can't show you their workshop. But I'll take the piss. I did actually go for a job interview with them the other day just for a laugh. And uh, the manager, <laughs> never met a blow like him, well, except for Ken Uthi. So yeah, basically this one's a fix. This one is a fix and it's fucking, ah, yeah, metal type. Okay. 